Here we are, it's the 12th of June 2013 and we're getting ready for the Banbury run which is next weekend and I'm going to be doing it on this 1915 Scott Squirrel. So let's have a quick look around the bike and then see if we can get it started and go for a run. So being the age it is, we can see caliper front brake which is completely useless. We have of course being a Scott twin cylinder water cooled two stroke. There's the radiator there above it, both cylinders, the spark plugs you'll notice are on the back of the engine. BTH magneto there. We have acetylene lighting, there's the acetylene canister and the front light. The tank with the purple leather around it is the fuel tank. And just under the seat you can see the filler cap for the two-stroke oil which is held in the down tube and goes to this pump and, and tripper mechanism here and that feeds the main bearings and the ceiling fans in the engine. The rear brake lever here which is a block that runs, can you see it moving there? A block that runs inside the rear sprocket and that is uh, almost useless. This dripper here is for the two-speed gear that's hidden away under the cover, um, which of course is the clutch mechanism as well on these. 1915 model, first ever motorcycle with a kickstart. And there you go. This is the gear change lever for the Scott. You can see high and low written on it. When it's in the central position, it's in neutral. When you press it backwards with your heel, it engages low gear and that also does the clutch for that. When you press it forwards it's the clutch and the high speed gear. You can maybe just see the gear up inside there. There's two different chains and basically the clutch changes between the two different ratios. Carburetor, Amat Carb. Um, the really early Scots um, had a design that nobody could fathom uh, and didn't work very well so obviously at some time in its life this one's been changed. So let's give it a go and see if we can get it started.